Hello guys, how are we doing? Happy Halloween! This is Halloween. Well, this is probably going up after Halloween. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> this is our Halloween vlog. So this weekend we've got a load of just Halloween bits that we're doing. We are doing a massive party. At the bar. This is predominantly what we built the bar for, I think. Well, for things like this. A Halloween party. That's not the main reason. <laughs> we've never done a Halloween party before. No, not really. Um, so we've done a bit of purchasing. Yeah. Um, but first we're going to cut to, obviously, us getting some drinks together, because you know us. Yeah. We like to film our, fi sorry, not film our cocktails, um, fit our cocktails with what we are doing. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're doing a couple of, uh, we're doing one new cocktail and the other one's just repurposed on what we've already done before. Um, mm -hmm. There's another one as well, but that's like ready-made stuff anyway. So we'll show you that first and then we'll show you the decorations that we bought for it. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, this is Halloween. Hi guys, how are we doing? It's Sarah Chronicles again. Um, so if you have not seen from the title, this is our Halloween weekend. Um, so we've got a Halloween party. We've told you, I think, in a previous video. Um, we're doing a big Halloween party in the garden. Hopefully it's not going to rain. We have put a gazebo up, so that, that will come later on in the video. You'll be able to see all of that. Um, but... Sarah Chronicles tonight. So Adam's out doing a ghost walk with his mates. So I've got to get prepping for some Halloween drinks that we're doing tomorrow. There are some takes on ones that we've already done in our you know, previous bar uh, shindigs, but we've just put spooky twists to them. But we have got a brand new one that I need to make a syrup for. So I thought I'd bring you along and do this pumpkin spice syrup that I'm going to make from scratch. And I've got a jelly brain to make and a sugar syrup but that's about it um, and then we will get into decorating the outside and stuff when it gets bright because obviously it is night time now so let's get on and start making this syrup and hopefully it's gonna gonna turn out good so I think before I do anything I'm gonna make the jelly because obviously I need to get this set in it's gonna set all night so it should be fine so we got this like brain mold from Asda for a quid um, we weren't supposed to be making a jelly, but I was like, it's a quid. So we're going to make a jelly, not for people to eat. We're going to, we've got some like lollipops. So we're going to stick lollipops in it. It's going to be like a, you know, like the cheese hedgehogs you used to get in the 80s. Well, we're doing it with brains this time because it is Halloween. <laughs> terrible light in here I do apologize it's because it's dark and I've got the kitchen lights on so I've done the jelly he's all in the fridge hopefully he will set because I did two packets so I just doubled off on the water and I hope that will be all right and it will actually set so now I'm gonna make a just a normal sugar syrup for all our other cocktails so that it's literally equal parts sugar to um equal parts water and um, so just a basic sugar syrup and then I'm also going to make the pumpkin spice syrup so I'll show you my ingredients for that so for the pumpkin spiced syrup uh, we've got maple syrup so that's going to be the bit of sweetness we have some ground cinnamon it's ve it's going to be very like Christmassy I feel and um, we got some ground ginger we have also got ground cloves and some vanilla. I got vanilla flavouring. It says vanilla extract, but vanilla extract was like four quid. So this was like 80p. So it's only going in a drink, so it's not like it's going to really be tasted much. It's going to just be full of alcohol. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit because I've already got like some pumpkin spice syrup that you put in your coffee. So I'm, I suppose I'm basically pimping up this one. And then this is going to be the vessel that our little pumpkin spiced drink's going to go in. So we're doing a take on an old fashioned. Um, so it's going to be bourbon, 
lemon juice and the pumpkin spice syrup shook with ice um, and then put in our little pumpkin jars and I've also got as well um, we got these ages ago and if you can see do you remember when we went to York and we got some drinks from the hole-in-wand golf stuff um, yeah so we are going to put that in the drinks as well and we've got loads of other different ones to put in different drinks um, but because this is the lights colour it won't take away from the colour too much so let's get making these sugar syrups <laughs> Let me turn it off before uh, I get copyrighted. I've made my little pumpkin spiced syrup. It's come out a lot darker than I thought it would. Um, I don't know why. I think it's obviously all the spices that are in there. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells like pumpkin spice. Really nice. Spicy. So, yeah, it's going to uh, go really good with a an old-fashioned. So, I'm going to make myself an old-fashioned then um, because... Our party is tomorrow. We haven't tried that drink yet, so we do need to do a tester. I haven't got Adam to come and help me. So it's Friday night. I'm going to have a nice little drinky poo to myself. It's a simple cocktail. It's literally the pumpkin spice syrup. But if you didn't want to do pumpkin spice, if you just wanted to do an old fashioned, just the simple syrup. So the syrup that I made um, earlier, that's really hot. This one is. So yeah, just a simple syrup. Sorry about the lighting, my God. Lemon juice and bourbon, any kind of bourbon. We've got an abundance of Jack Daniels, which is not the best to have in an old fashioned, but seeming that I've got the pumpkin spice, it might make the Jack Daniels taste a bit better. Not that there's anything wrong with Jack, it's just, it's not the best bourbon that you can get, you know. So this is not going to be like the best cocktail I'm ever going to make because all our equipment is down in the bar. So as I say, we've got an abundance of Jack at the moment. So I'm going to use that as my bourbon, lemon juice. As I say, my pumpkin spice syrup that I have just made. Some ice, my cocktail shaker. And then, yeah, to make it glittery. So let's get making. having this trouble because we're buying well just normal drink glasses when you're making a cocktail um I mean, that's pure liquor i don't know i mean I, I need to put my unicorn essence in so let's try that so i put the tiniest little bit of lemonade in there and if you can see can you see i don't know if you will be able to see but there is some shimmer going around in there. Can you see? So that is, well, my take on a pumpkin spice. Old fashioned. So it's all there is left to do is a cat being really fucking annoying. What are you doing? He's trying to get under a bag. Eee! It looks pretty, it looks festive, it smells lovely. 
Oh my god. That is so festive. You could have that at Christmas as well. That is so good. It's really rich. Um, so you've obviously got the bourbon in there, which is lovely. I haven't done the top up properly. And the lemon juice and then that pumpkin spice syrup. It's just cinnamon and cloves, ginger. Tiny little bit of lemonade just to make it up. Um, but it doesn't affect the flavour, I don't think. That's really nice. That's going to be really warming for our night tomorrow, even though it's really mild in the UK at the moment. Um, so we're nearly in November, obviously, and it's, I think it's like 20 degrees at the moment. It's horrible. I want it to go cold. My jelly set in. My simple syrup's been done. Um, I need to write some labels because we've got another cocktail, which is I think which is a brew or something like that. Um, I need to double check with Adam actually what it is before I write the uh, labels. But that is a take on our seize the day. So there's no other ingredients that I need to make for that. I think that's it. So as you can see, what time is it? Quarter past seven. So I want to get settled in now. I'm going to pop my candles on. I hope Adam's having a lovely time on his ghost walk. Um, and get some tea, snuggle down, ready for the festivities of tomorrow. We went overboard. <laughs> a little bit. Um, we've done a bit of a collection, really. We've been accumulating this for, like, I say, the past month or so. Um, because we've never done a Halloween part before, we've had to start from scratch. Obviously, we've already got our pumpkins all in situ, you know that. Um, but this is kind of the stuff that's going to go in the gazebo. Um, slash bar. Slash bar. So we've got, you know, the, the cobwebbies and spiders. And we still don't know where we're going to put everything. That's the thing. We need to get it all sorted. More cobwebbies. We've got loads of cobwebbies. Um, like garlands and stuff like that. I found this from ages ago <laughs> that I bought for my 30th birthday party that never happened because of the dreaded C word. Mm. I thought this would be very fitting because it's just been, as you can see, it's all just been sitting in the cupboard for the last two and a half years. Um, we've got some containers for our drinks, many different containers for our drinks. Yes. We couldn't decide really. We kept buying stuff and then seeing stuff that was better and stuff like that. So we're just going to use it all. These are the main ones though. Little pumpkins. Um, yeah, little pumpkins for our... Um, prickly pumpkin. Like prick, a prickly old, pumpkin. Was it an old fashioned, didn't it? Like a... Yeah, it's pumpkin spice old fashioned really. So with bourbon and lemon juice and pumpkin spice. Which I've made from scratch that you've already seen. Got um, these ones as well. Yeah, these ones, which is the bloodbath. Bloodbath, which is the seize the day. Yes. Um, so just some plastic ones, which you've already seen in the video of when we did our pumpkin picking. That's where we got those mm -hmm. from. Um, we got these before I, we got the others. I think we just use them for like people that want gin and yeah, stuff like and yeah, stuff like extras. that. Yeah, like extras. Um, we've got a massive and it's glass as well this was really reasonable from hobby craft eight quid something? i don't even think it was that i think it was about six but it's it's glass. solid and the other one broke so um, and i think we can use that all year round because it's a skull and it's quite nautical if yeah. you make it nautical um, so we can use it for tonight and so that, continuous that will be soft drinks um yeah if you come round, we've got like loads of as i say like garlandy bits and um, caution tape, bunting, paper straws. straws, stuff to put in the bathroom on the shower curtain, um, a little door curtain thing. Which I don't know where we're going to hang, to be honest. Um, and then the husband made these for one of our other drinks, the Witch's Brew. Which is the Qui-Gon Gin. Yeah. But we, you can do it with gin or rum, so we decided to go Witch's Brew. Yeah, so we'll put a little straw in and, yeah, have that as well. Um picked up that cheeky little thing oh, limited edition um from asda didn't mean to get that but we couldn't pass up on it um yeah just more garlands little bumps and things and then obviously some sweeties put in bowls um not for trick-or-treaters no for it's for everyone guests. tonight um yeah so we need to get decorating they're all our little decorations 
We might need to put some pumpkins out. We did get like Lip stuff stickers. to put on pumpkins so we don't carve them, but I don't we'll think see. we're going to have time to well, do we'll, that. Well, we'll see how far we get. So, yeah, now we've got to get those all decorated. Yes, so let's start decorating. We're done. <laughs> oh, I'm so sweaty. Well, it's so muggy, it's isn't so it? It's so muggy and it's really irritating that it's so muggy. Uh, I need to de-sweat before everyone arrives. So we did that at the window, which I yeah. thought was pretty good. Just some beware. Uh, and then we'll show you out the back where the big stuff is. But we started here by the door. Oh no! Enter if you dare. If you dare. Which hopefully won't fall down. Yeah, people are going to have to bend down, the yeah. tall boys. Oh, there's been some spidery work out here. Oh wow, look at the sky. Yeah, it's red over there. Got a bit of red on you. Anyway, go on. Oh, yeah, loads of cobwebs. And the spiders have been hard at work. Um, Hee -hee. Yeah, uh, but table here, which we're going to put the chairs out later because it might rain just before. Um, so yeah, we've got those all our candles in there. Mm, little sweeties. Uh, and we've got this. Tucked everything away through here and through to the gazebo. So obviously we'll put like all our lights on when it gets a little bit darker. Oh! Um, so yeah, obviously you'll see it later on with all the lights and that when everyone's here. We've got lights around there, we've got all these little decorations here, we've got the Stranger Things. Yeah, it looks so cool. It's in the dark, apparently. Uh, we've got more cobwebs behind us and some lights that are going to go on at some point. More candy. Candy, spider webs. And um, so then we've got even more cobwebs. We've got all our pumpkins. We've got our little broom out here, if you dare. Uh, skeletons. We've got a couple of. One we there. need to be careful that they don't hail Hitler because sometimes they do. Yeah, like it got stuck. I was like, we can't um, keep that. <laughs> yeah, two two skeletons. Um, Happy Halloween bunting. And then we've got this bunting inside here as well. So we've decorated this. Uh, mm. We've got our little what's it things there. Uh, more pumpkins. Pumpkins, um, pumpkins. More cobwebs. Pumpkins there. We've got the limited edition spice. So we've got our martini. We've got our witch's brew stuff ready to go. Uh, this is our cocktail menu for this evening. You made it. Made that. Looks pretty, like blood. Pretty proud of. Uh, and then instead of the pump this evening we've got ourselves a little keg to kind of kick in with. Uh, yeah. And then we've got a little kind of alcoholic punch thing as well. Oh yeah. Don't shake it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah I think that's it. We're ready to go. So yeah we need to start turning the lights on. We need to get dressed. Yeah we need to get dressed. So yeah, yeah the next thing you'll see hopefully is this all together with the lights on. In your bar. In my bar, my full bar. You had me a horse. <laughs> you got both of them. I do. I borrowed this from my nephew. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go. No one's just, here. Literally just waiting. <laughs> so no, we did say seven, and it is like one, <gasps> so it's quarter seven. There goes the infinity gauntlet. Oh dear. Um, so yeah. If no, the bar 
If no one turns up, then we've got our own Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> no one turns up. No, and just loads um, of booze. I, am, I mean, I know people have seen this last year in the vlog, but I am still pretty happy with... It's very dark, very dark. Oh. Nope. <laughs> it's just dark. Should we head up there? So yeah, I am pretty happy with this. I made that, well, I extended it, like I said last time. Yeah, you saw in our autumn vlogs last year. So I think I'm pretty Thor like. Not like this. They're very uncomfortable, these costumes. I mean, mine's actually quite comfy. Mine, mine just keeps all the um, Velcro keeps coming off. So I've got my helmet on, back to front. In the moment. God, we look like a Blair Witch, don't we? Do -do -do -do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was any buggers up there, um, actually. So, yeah, like, we're ready to go. I'm, qu I'm quite happy with the outcome. I am as well. Just need peeps now. Yeah, peeps. <laughs> it's like your text message, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, the news! Right, your first prickly pumpkin. Mm. I mean, the bits I, I understood were like, okay, this is explaining why... That's nice, there is a kick list. That's nice. Say, so it's not spicy, but you could taste the spice. Sort your back out. 
What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong here, mate. There must be where my wand is. Oh, he's having a little bit of massage. Right, okay. Are you struggling? How old are you? I don't know, but Meg's got a finger in my balls. She's liking it as well. You're damn right I've got my finger in his ass. There's something in there. I feel something. It's moving. It's very helpful, right? You okay, babe? What are you making? You okay? <laughs> it's best doing this by itself. Taste test it, mate. Is this your film? Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting with some camera, I'm trying to host yeah, it. They put it in 10 grams. Eddie and Billy. Eddie and Billy. What were we saying? Really good. Nice? Really good. Good. Did you just say slip drop? I heard slip drop. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> said it, so. My name's Brian and I like to party. <laughs> She says closet. Whoa, what? Oh, yeah. Is that on? Yeah, yeah. Is this thing on? It's the red light. It's the off light. What? And a polling station. Polling station. What? Polling station. It's polling station. I know. I say polling. I'm stupid. What do you think? When we came around, I pulled in. He just popped the mouth of the junction. I thought the hell he was talking about. Dan says it's polling. The mouth of the junction. Please don't. What's the mouth of the junction? Mouth of the junction is like the entrance to the junction. Right, right. The station, I agree with that. The mouth of the junction. What is the mouth of the junction? It's like the entrance to the junction. I thought that was a junction. No, it's the junction. No, no, it's the mouth of the junction. It's, it's the, the junction. No, no, but like, yeah, but like the mouth of the harbour. That's the entrance to the harbour. It's a harbour. It's a harbour. All right, how many times do you want to bob your head? Harbour. It's a harbour. Cumbria. Cumbria. <laughs> Cumbria. <laughs> Why are you doing drama? Oh no, because he's so. So, were you playing Danny Blade with? No. Danny Blade. Amy, are you pissed? No, I'm Jeez. Fuck off. You sure? You sure you're not pissed? Absolutely. I literally, you're looking at it, it's like, no, whatever it is you're asking, it's a no. I don't know. I'm just facing it like. I'm just facing it like. I can't see colour.
12th of November. <laughs> We're a little bit late with our sign off. So sorry, guys. We only realised when we were like pretty much done editing the footage. Like, oh, we did oh, not sign off. off. As you can see, we had a brilliant night. It was a, a really good, fun night. Yeah, I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. We even ended up going up to the courthouse, which someone didn't really want to do. And then suddenly she did want to do. And she went up yeah. in full Thanos costume. But by that point, I was like, I I'm done. I took my costume off half an hour yeah. before they decided to go up. Because I was like, I, I just can't. I can't make cocktails and go for a piss in this anymore. Yeah, that was the only thing that was quite annoying. But I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Yeah, so now, was that was the last of our autumnal yes. portion of our channel. So the next bit that will be coming is all Christmas stuff. Step into Christmas, step up together. We can watch snow forever and ever. So yeah, we've got a, a lot of content, actually. Yeah, so we've got, we're going to go to Wonderland in uh, London. Yeah, in Hyde Park. Yeah. We've never been. Never been. First time. To that. We've also got Stratford Christmas Market, which we always do, so we'll do that a again. Staple of Christmas. Um, and then we've got Lincoln Christmas Market that we've seen as well yeah. that we're going to go to. A new one for us. And we're staying overnight as well. We managed to get an Airbnb last minute. Yeah, a nice little cheap one. Um, and then after that, it'll be Christmas Eve and Christmas Day again. I think probably what we'll do, we'll probably mash them together mm. so it won't be as a, like two really small ones. We'll put just maybe one just big video together. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what footage we get and what we put together. So so it might be Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, yeah, or it might just be both together. So I'm hoping that you're enjoying the new format of things. Let us know um, if you have any ideas of you like the previous way we did things, or if you're liking the way we're doing it this year. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Find us on all the socials. Yes, find us on uh, TikTok. And buy me a coffee. Yes, and uh, like, subscribe, and we'll, we'll see you very soon for, for Christmas stuff. With jingle bells on, <laughs> if we don't see you before. See you after. Take care, guys. <laughs>